Good morning, good afternoon. Today's uh, January 18, 2018, and we're doing the morning business headline commentary. All right, let's look at the business headlines and let it load. Um, Amazon's in the news again. Um, seems like they're trying to choose a second headquarter. Um, there was a speculation that they may have to um, look into the uh, Jeff Bezos uh, political uh, views um, that would coincide with the cities um, to do that. But that has been, you know, baited away. Uh, in my opinion, they should look into like a uh, very nice, quiet, uh, high end towns, like uh, a little bit outside New York City, like uh, Manhasset and uh, Great Neck, where they're like quiet towns. Um, they can build California style campuses. They have a lot of land there. Um, and, you know, people can drive in proximity to New York City without dealing with all those traffic and stuff like that while being in proximity to access all those markets. Um, we also know that Amazon already has an office in New York City. That's not bad. Um, you know, things like, you know, high-end neighborhoods where have, they have uh, quiet neighborhoods and driving is okay. And there's the uh, Long Island Railroad as well. That is, uh, you know, pretty good for, you know, building California style. And the scenery is very nice over there. Uh, people can walk outside and have a calm, relaxing experience while thinking about stuff. So I do recommend like uh, Manhasset uh, and Great Neck, a little bit outside New York City. So that's my opinion on that. So Apple is thinking about um, doing another second campus. Yeah, they can do that. You know, like again, I would recommend those two like uh, quiet town cities where they can use a lot, a lot of cheaper lands outside the city, and also have great access to major. You know, um, you know they can also access like the Hamptons while also in proximity to the New York City. All right. So Airbus is uh, gaining a lot of uh, business ahead of uh, um, Boeing. Uh, like I mentioned previously uh, in my previous videos, that Airbus is able to be more efficient in using advanced composites. Um, advanced composites allow building lighter and stronger airplanes. Um, but you know, it's the the key to Airbus is efficiency in using these materials, where they are not able to be you know recycled or anything like that. Um, you know, um, comparatively speaking, they better design um, in their airplane for that. So that's why Airbus, when you go go down a little bit in detail, they always went out in, in the design of the airplanes. All right, there's a little bit about budget requests for the Consumer Protection Bureau. That's being gutted out by the executive. So the Wells Fargo um, saga continues as they find even more and more you know, corrupt practices. All right. KitKat's coming out new flavors, uh, trying out new markets. So it's uh, boats well for the economy, while the jobless claims is a hit 45 year low. So China, I had like in collaboration with the U.S. Uh, with the optimism in the economy, uh, economic optimism and nationalism, a little bit like that, uh, go like a cotango with the U.S. China, you know, business booming. So that's not bad. All right, that's a merger in the hotel business. Not bad. So you know that's a renewed optimism on uh, on bitcoins. Yes, we do see a like revival in the pricing. You know, um, I do cheer for them, but I don't have position on them. Um, I do believe they're a good hedge against corruption.
So I do believe that's like a you know, the bad mouse, like the the you know entities or corruption try to kill off Bitcoin, because it's a legitimate in many cases like Zimbabwe and uh, Venezuela, you know, and many other many more places to come, to hedge against corruption. You know, new burgers. So Tesla, you know, a little bit like that. They will see new competition with Tesla. There's more traditional car companies coming out with uh, electric version of the vehicles. Like Toyota coming out with a RAV4 and Infiniti or Nissan coming out with all electric vehicles. All right, that's a little bit of uh, news on oils trying to artificially being pumped up. All right, they say like, uh, you know, mannequins, you know, you know, mannequin toys. They call it lifelike robots, you know, you know, it's just like, you know, pre-made shells and mannequins, uh, in my opinion. That's articulated with motors. That's it. All right, look into Wall Street Journal a little bit. Uh, could all being uh, artificially pumped, um, you know, the reasoning is a stronger economy. It should be around like 54 area, in my opinion. So we do the main point here is the Hang Sam being pumped a lot. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be mellowing out, I believe, after the first quarter earnings comes out. And they'll see what's going on. All right, a little bit of profit ticking uh, above twenty six thousand. So we see the risk of the shutdown nears. Uh, Trump says the wall is the wall. Venezuela, a little bit of that, and a little bit legitimacy of the Bitcoin in consideration by the uh, um, major trading um, facilitators. All right. So Morgan Stanley, you know, brokers pushing it higher. All right. So that's that a little bit. Um, with this information. All right. Today's uh, Thursday, January eighteenth, twenty eighteen, and we're doing the morning business headline commentary. Something of note. Um. I do have Indian followers and Chinese business followers. Um, my Chinese business follower decided to buy out Germany's uh, robotics firm after I featured these robotics in my supercar videos uh, listed below uh, with the robotic arms building these supercars. All right. Um, something also note, um, I do have a rapid response to my commentary for more from the more like traditional car companies like Ford Motor Company, um, after the, um, within six hours of my commentary that future car companies needs to have EVs and electric versions of the vehicles, Ford Motor Company uh, come out on the same day after six hours of my commentary saying that they will have bigger cars, bigger trucks with also versions in EVs and electric um, and, and hybrids and so forth like that. Uh, all right. Um, also, um, the company called Funimation uh, that owns Dragon Ball um, uh, became a takeover target after I featured Goku and Gohan of of uh, Dragon Ball in my token demo videos listed below. Some of them as well. All right, that's three of the many, many sometimes actionable commentary that I stated, and you know, um, my followers are very you know uh, smart. Um, and understand, you know, my sometimes actionable commentaries. All right, today is Thursday, January 18, 2018, and we're doing the morning business headline commentary.